My name is Ryan Sangalia. I'm the trainer for Jean-Pierre Valencia. I started training Jean-Pierre about a year ago. He had just come to America from uh, Spain. He was training by himself and sometimes they would use him for sparring. He didn't speak a word of English and uh, but I could see already that he had the desire to be a fighter. And um, you know, I'm watching him work out and I'm wondering why no one's working with this guy. He's obviously better than everyone else here. But I saw his desire the first time I held the pads for him. I told him, this guy's gonna be a champion. And he's proven me right every step of the way. So we've worked together, I wanna say since September of 2022 and we've won every tournament, state tournament that we've been involved in. Um, Two-time Diamond Gloves champion in New Jersey, uh, one-time Golden Gloves champion, won the New York championship here um, earlier this year, and then he went to the semifinals of the National Golden Gloves, his first ever national tournament. And um, I thought, you know, he showed himself that he has the real potential to become a future world champion. Hola, soy Jean-Pierre Valencia. He nacido en, en Ecuador, Esmeraldas. Me he criado en España también, ¿sabes? Y ahora hace un año y medio, hace un año y medio que estoy aquí en Estados Unidos. Comencé a competir después que, que tuve un año entrenando. Empecé a competir, ¿sabes? Mi primera pelea en España a los 17 años. Y desde ahí llevo ahora 28 peleas. Mi récord es 25 y 3 perdidas. Lo que me hizo empezar el boxeo fue la disciplina ¿sabes? Que, que tuve para alcanzar mis metas, la disciplina que, que tuve para llegar al éxito. ¿sabes? Me gustó pelear, ¿sabes? me gustó cómo yo me sentía dentro del ring. ¿sabes? Yo me sentía como un campeón. ¿sabes? Creo que sí, sería una buena pelea. ¿sabes? Creo que es un buen oponente, ¿sabes? Tiene varias peleas, pero yo tengo la, la hambre, yo tengo las ganas, ¿sabes? De, de salir adelante, ¿sabes? Y, ¿sabes? y no me importa, ¿sabes? Cuáles sean, cuáles sean la, las pruebas que, que se pongan delante, ¿sabes? No me importa quién sea, ¿sabes? El oponente, sino que yo voy a decir que sí, vamos a pelear, ¿sabes? No me importa, ¿sabes? Solo quiero eh, ganar el, cualquier campeonato que sea. Estoy ahí, ¿sabes? He ganado los Diamond Globes dos veces, los Golden Globes y he estado en los nacionales de, de National Golden Globes. He ganado la medalla de bronce, ¿sabes? Así que estoy ready para lo que venga, ¿sabes? Me siento muy bien, ¿sabes? Porque yo vengo de New Jersey y estoy representando a un, a un estado entero. Eso representa mucho para mí, ¿sabes? Venir aquí a New York, ¿sabes? Y pelear con, con Melvin Martínez. Eso me hace sentir más grande, ¿sabes? Aún. Este es una oportunidad, ¿sabes? Para demostrar que soy el mejor 165, 165 libras. Y voy a demostrar que soy el mejor 165 libras del país. Ahora mismo soy, estoy rankeado el número uno, ¿sabes? Y, eso me ha costado mucho, ¿sabes? Y no se lo voy a dejar a él. No se lo voy a, no, no voy a dejar que nadie me lo quite, ¿sabes? Tan fácil. So, esta pelea va a ser increíble. No sé cómo vaya a acabar, ¿sabes? La pelea, pero yo sé que quiero acabar antes de tiempo, ¿sabes? Cuando comience la campana, ¿sabes? Pues lo voy a dar todo, ¿sabes? Esta pelea va a ser la mejor, el mejor show. So, Get ready, alístate, coge tus palomitas, tu soda, ¿sabes? Y compra tu ticket y ahí vamos a estar ahí, a fuego. So, me llaman el verdugo de Butcher porque, ¿sabes? Corto a la gente, ¿sabes? No me importa quién sea, ¿sabes? Mis manos son, son como, como el hacha, ¿sabes? Del verdugo. So, yo confío en mi poder, ¿sabes? Confío, ¿sabes? En mi mano derecha, ¿sabes? Tengo el poder del nocao, ¿sabes? Por eso me, me pusieron el verdugo, el verdugo de Esmeralda. So, mi predicción para esta pelea, ¿sabes? Es 
Voy a ir a por todas, ¿sabes? Voy a hacer lo que hace el verdugo, ¿sabes? ¿Sabes cuál es el trabajo del verdugo? Pues ya sabes. See you on January 20th in Stereo Garden. I will fight with that guy, Melvin Martinez. So buy the tickets now. It's gonna be, you know, a good show. It's gonna be verdugo time, butcher time, baby. I'm gonna win this state title, you know? This is my, this is my time, baby. My name is Melvin Martinez. I was born in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm 20 years old right now. I'm from New Rochelle, New York, fighting at a Chance Boxing Club. Um, I started boxing because my dad used to mention how he wanted to be a boxer. I used to watch boxing with him a lot. So what it was, um, I got kicked out of middle school back in 2018, around December. I told my dad I wanted to do boxing because I had so much anger, so much, I was very emotional. You know, I felt like uh, I wasn't nobody in life, so I felt like boxing was a good way to cope. I found that it was good, it was definitely a good way to cope, but I liked the competitiveness of it. I used to do karate, wrestling, but boxing caught my interest by a lot. When I just started boxing, you know, at 15 years old, I, well, my amateur career started at 15 years old back in 2019. I knew this is what I really wanted to do, you know. Um, boxing on me, and my family is heavy because coming from a Puerto Rican background and a Mexican background, they're like the biggest rivalries in boxing, you know? If you look back at the best fights that happened with Rafael Gomez and Salvador Sanchez, or, you know, Canelo versus Cotto, you know, those fights are always the big fights because it's, again, the biggest rivalry in boxing, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. That's also a big influence on why I started boxing and what makes me continue boxing is because I really want to give my parents, my family, a better life. You know, um, I currently, you know, I currently sleep sometimes like thinking like, yo, I really want to be a, a world champion, you know? Also, I, I know this could definitely help my family. I know I got the skills. It's a, a little bit of everything I know that a, a fighter needs to be on top. I'm saying this from the heart. I really think I could be, make it far in the sport and become a world champion. I just need to be disciplined. I am disciplined, but I need to be focused, consistent, and to stay on the right path to become where I want to be in the future. I definitely got the vision. I run every day. I do everything, you know, everything right that a boxer needs to do. This is, uh, this is something I, I would die for. Boxing is like my outlet, you know? Not just emotionally, I like boxing in general, boxing itself, because I see a lot of people, they box for an emotional reason, for a coping mechanism or whatever, but after that's dealt with, you know, the love for a sport could take you so far, I think. I want to thank Christian Vasquez for this opportunity again. Jim Pierre and I being um, the champion of our state, him being champion of New Jersey, Golden Globe champion, and me being a Golden Globe champion in New York, fighting for the SBC Interstate belt, is gonna show which champion is the best. I personally think I'm better. Um, I know he does, so I don't see, there's no wrong with doing, thinking like that. This is gonna be a hell of a fight, a good fight, a competitive fight. All I gotta let my actions do the talking and that's it. All I gotta say is tune in. January 20th is gonna be a good fight. A stereo garden. You're gonna watch two warriors do it their own. I wanna say to everybody that's been supporting me that um, I'm really grateful. Um, again, a boxer isn't shit without support. No matter how good a boxer is or whatever, a boxer always needs support. A boxer always needs a foundation, a fan base, and just know that everybody that supports me is definitely gonna help my future for more years to come. And I always wanna say thank you to everybody that believes in me, that really sees me becoming a champion in the future. This is only the beginning, I'm only an amateur. But I know things are gonna change heavily when I become a professional boxer. The fucking pack off of the porch or break a pound down. Get the scrap if it happened to blow, it makes a round sounds. Pussy cat on my lap, push it back and go to town. Now I'm putting rap on my back and I'm black.
fucking stacking crowns How they came back around Like a nigga selling cracking pounds I got a bag now But it's nothing to brag about Gun blast in the background I'm a black man with the bloodhounds Mac 10 making love sounds To a bad chick She from uptown I'm from down south Not a loud mouth We can fuck around Hit the music baby Cut it down Hit a doobie while you do me Indubitably I feel like I'm a bust now I feel like a bust down When I shine bright Blind niggas is up now In the cut big black Truck pack sacked up You can pick it up now Nigga fuck it okay Push the fucking pack off of the porch or break a pound down Get the scrap if it happen to blow it makes a round sounds Pussy cat on my lap push it back and go to town down Putting rap on my back and I'm black and snatching crowns